Alistair Overeem is a living legend. His accomplishments in MMA and kickboxing are incredible, but what's truly astounding is the way he's gone about achieving them. Overeem is a fan favorite for a reason. He's the definition of a high risk, high reward fighter. And in line with this mentality is Overeem's masterful use of the Blitz. The Blitz, as the name is most commonly used nowadays, refers to a tactic where a fighter shifts forward multiple times while throwing multiple strikes or attempting takedowns. For instance, the Dempsey Roll could be considered a Blitz performed with two alternative weaves. Or to be less technical, the Blitz is where one fighter runs out another until somebody gets knocked out. And someone will get knocked out because getting countered while blitzing basically means that you're running directly into an opponent's strike. So this insanely aggressive tactic also requires pretty much flawless defense. But just like Dempsey, that's what makes Overeem's blitzes so fun to watch. The combination of a caveman tactic done in technically skilled ways. Because believe it or not, Overeem doesn't just run at his opponent's full speed. He runs at them full speed while executing high-level techniques that most fighters have trouble pulling off while standing still. So let's start with the most basic examples of Overeem bulldozing opponents and work our way up to advanced tactics from there. A signature component of Overeem's blitzes is the way he likes to incorporate knees. And this only makes sense, as a shift forward is a great load-up for a knee. It's a similar concept to how Muay Cow fighters march forward to set up their knees in Muay Thai, but much more extreme. What's more, Overeem has the athleticism to incorporate flying knees into his blitzes. These are great for piercing through the center of an opponent's guard, as many opponents do understandably try to shell up when Overeem comes charging at them. But primarily, the Blitz is great for setting up knees because it forces an opponent to move back into the ropes, where it's far easier to establish the clinch. That said, Overeem can also cut off and intercept opponents trying to escape through lateral movement. Another option if opponents don't move is for Overeem to simply knee their legs. This tactic is incredibly underutilized, but it hurts bad and can easily destabilize an opponent's base. Overeem can also transition landed punches into collar ties, and these add power and control to his knees. But actually, his punches don't even need to land for this to work. Because shifting punches are so powerful, opponents have a tendency to overreact. So while opponents are trying to defend against a hook rather than counter, Overeem will instead reach out to clinch, allowing him to pull opponents directly into hard knees. Overeem can even use feints to achieve the same goal, and they work just as well. The retraction of the fake punch being turned into a collar tie. Alternatively, Overeem can reach out to control an opponent's hand or arm effectively immobilizing it. Or, he can even frame off their head or shoulder to control their position. A quick aside, notice in this clip that Overeem pauses mid-blitz. Varying tempo like this is a common tactic of his, and it could help him to adjust distance, disrupt timing, and even use blatant shifts as feints to set up strikes. Overeem's familiarity with operating in either stance means he's also incredibly comfortable shifting backwards, allowing him to create new angles to counter opponents from positions they weren't expecting. This also lets him alternate his power side by placing his left or right side further back from his opponent. One of the absolute coolest techniques that Overeem has in his arsenal is to use the retraction of a knee to load up a punch. The push-pull dynamic gives a lot of weight to these strikes, and they come on the half beat at a time when the opponent expects Overeem to be resetting for the next shot, not throwing a knockout punch. As could be expected, 
a good number of competitors try to neutralize Overeem's attacks by clinching. But Overeem is fantastic at turning what could be wasted momentum into sweeps. Not only does he transfer his own momentum by immediately turning off angle, he also uses his opponent's forward momentum from trying to step into the clinch to send them tumbling into the canvas. The funny thing is that it's the opponent that's given Overeem convenient underhooks to help leverage their weight. A great way to tell a master from a novice is that with a master, each move helps set up the next, even if the original intention is shut down. While Overeem certainly doesn't manage to stay safe all of the time, he takes far less hits than anyone blitzing this much should have the right to expect. So let's quickly look at Overeem's defense while shifting, and how he turns this defense into offense, essentially using opponents' own attacks against them. One of the most basic defenses is the cover block or elbow block. In this clip, Overeem is intending to shift forward, but his offense is blunted when his opponent stays put and attempts a counter hook. So Overeem elbow blocks and transfers his shift into lateral movement, creating a great angle to land a leg kick with his new lead leg. This kind of split second reaction is a necessity if you hope to have any chance of pulling off what Overeem does and surviving. Another common defense that Overeem uses while shifting is to slip. Overeem is great at slipping in general, and he loves to counter an opponent's lead hand attacks with overhands. But if he misses, then shifting forward enables him to continue his assault, having already gotten past an opponent's first line of defense. Overeem can even catch opponent's kicks without missing a step. meaning that he can move all of his built-up momentum into them as they try to remain balanced on one leg. There's a lot more elements to Overeem's game, from excellent clinch work to fantastic timing and brutal counters. Maybe we'll get into those in the future, but for now, you can watch Overeem at his new home at Glory Kickboxing, where he's sure to continue to amaze fans and terrify the competition. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.